Hey, it's Evan, and today I'm answering a question from one of my YouTube viewers, Gary, who was curious about how I use Evernote and wanted to see if it could work as a potential CRM for his business. So he's a consultant, he goes in and he helps companies with their software and technology, and he wanted to basically organize every communication with a client into an easy to find place on Evernote uh, and how I would go about doing it. So I don't use Evernote too much as a CRM, but here's how I would do it to get started. First thing I would do is create a notebook. So you go new notebook, I would put in a client name. So let's say I'm working with Bank of America, I put that in Bank of America. Okay, that's going to put it on the side to make things easy, especially if you have multiple uses for your Evernote, I use it for a lot of personal and business reasons. What I would do is create a new stack called clients. So I'd right click on this, go add the stack, create a new stack, then click on it and go rename and put this as clients. Then if you click up here, you can see that I have a new stack called clients. And then within here, I have a notebook called Bank of America. And then within here, I can add new notes that relate to my client. The reason why it's as important is because you can use it for a lot of different reasons. So you can see I use it for my book, business notes, personal notes, my investment company, uh, memories, salsa dancing, places to check out in Toronto. I have a lot of different uh, uses for it. And so if you're using Evernote for a lot of different reasons, you want to organize your data so it's not crazy out of control when you're trying to find something. So that's the reason why you have a stack called clients and then notebooks for each client. And then within you have individual notes. So when I'm now in my folder, if I had a meeting with Bank of America, I could go new note and I could put in something like meeting on November 15th. And I could start typing in the notes from the meeting. So, you know, met with Harry Smith, you know, to do's and put in all this stuff, you know, underneath whatever you need. And why I like this is I find it helpful to refer back to. So I use this for meetings when I'm having a meeting with people on my team and we meet once a month and I'll keep track of what we said we were going to do. And then I can refer to it the next month when we meet again to see what's been done and what still needs to happen. On top of that, I could add notes for all the different types of documents that I want to share. So for example, if I signed a new agreement with Bank of America, I would do a new note, I could call it agreement. And then I could go to uh, my regular explorer and just drag in the PDF of the signed agreement. So you could drag in pictures, you could drag in agreements, PDFs, uh, drag in any files that you need to save and it's all here in an easy to find format. So if I ever need to come back and find out what was going on uh, and dig deeper into my notes, I could have two choices. One, I could click on my Bank of America notebook and then search, you know, just manually look down and say, okay, well, this was called my meeting notes. This is my agreement. And hopefully this will build as you do a lot of work with your client. So you can manually sort through it here, or you can do a search and you can go uh, at the top here and you could search you search your notes and you could put in whatever word you're looking for or agreement or you know, you're know looking for Harry Smith, you put in Harry Smith and it'll pull up only the notes that relate to that client. So that's how I would do it. And again, I would repeat this for every new client that I brought on that I wanted to track. You create a new notebook. It's all stored within the client's stack and it's easy to keep up to date and you have everything in one central area and it's, it's on your computer, it's on your phone, it's on your iPad, any device that's connected to Evernote, you have instant access to all the information you need and you can easily edit it uh, as well. And when you do, it'll be edited across all your devices too. So hopefully that helps. Uh, great question. For those of you watching, you like the video, please give it a thumbs up below. And I'd love to hear what you have to think. If you have a more specific question about Evernote or another question for your business, leave it below. I'd be happy to do a video response. Thank you guys and I'll see you soon.